In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. So my dear children, on Thursday just gone, we celebrated the ascension of the Lord as Jesus returns to his Father, but promises to be with us until the end of time. And he promises to send us the Holy Spirit. And so on this seventh Sunday of Easter, we get ready for the coming of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost, now just a week away. As we begin our liturgy of the word, we take a moment to acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us to life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are full of grace and truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You grant us life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Hear our prayers, O Lord, so that we who believe that Jesus is our Saviour, is with you in your glory, may experience, as he promised, his presence with us until the end of the world who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. We take our readings from the children's lectionary for the seventh week of Easter. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus was taken up to heaven from Mount Olivet, the apostles went back to Jerusalem, where they were staying. All of the apostles, Peter and Andrew, James and John, Philip, Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, Simon and Jude, they spent their time in the upper room praying. They prayed with some of the women and with Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers who stayed there with them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm response. Listen to my prayer. I trust in you, my God. Listen to my prayer. I trust in you, my God. In my heart I pray to you, hear my voice and come to me. Listen to my prayer, I trust in you, my God. My soul hopes in you, my God, you have saved me by your love. Listen to my prayer, I trust in you, my God. My soul waits for you, my God, like the night that waits for day. Listen to my prayer, I trust in you, my God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Eternal life is knowing you the only true God, and Jesus Christ, the one you sent. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was teaching his disciples, he said this prayer. Father, the time is now here. Glorify me so that you will be glorified too. 
You have given me power to give eternal life to everyone. And this is what eternal life is. To know you, the only true God, and to know Jesus Christ, the one you sent. I did everything you sent me on earth to do. I told the people about you, and now they know that I come from you, and that you sent me. And so I prayed for them, because they are yours, and they are mine. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When Jesus died on the cross, many people believed that was the end of his story, the end of his journey. But thanks to the preaching and teaching of the apostles, we know that his story, his journey, did not end there because of his resurrection from the dead. Over the past seven weeks, we have been celebrating Jesus coming out of the tomb. For 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples to show them that he was really alive. We are not to mistake his appearance as a dream. It's not a vision. It's not a ghost. It is the Lord Jesus. Even so, the disciples are not quite ready to share this good news. Good news is what the word gospel means. They're not quite ready to share the gospel with others. Jesus is asking them to be patient and to wait for the coming of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. And how do they spend this time of waiting? Well, they spend the time in prayer. And while we await to encounter Jesus, we spend our time in prayer. Each day we make a morning offering. We also, during the day, ask for the protection of our guardian angel. We say grace before and after meals to give thanks for the food that we are to receive. And most especially at the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And at the centre of the church, at the centre of that gathered community, is found Mary, the mother of God. She is our mother also. While hanging on the cross, Jesus turns to the disciple John and says, here is your mother. And to his mother, he says, here is your son, pointing to John the disciple. That means we also ask her intercession, the intercession of our heavenly mother, and Queen, remember we crowned her at the beginning of May. She presents our needs before Jesus in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. But even so, the story and journey of Jesus is not over. He has gathered us together as the church, to continue to sing his praises, to help more people enjoy the new life that the Spirit brings. It's a life that lasts, not just to the end of time, but for life eternal. Let's say our prayers together. My dear children, if we can share in Christ's death in our baptism, we will also share in his resurrection. And so we pray for the church. May we continue 
to tell people the good news of the gospel, full of truth and joy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our leaders, may they always protect our freedoms, especially our religious freedoms. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those waiting the sacraments of baptism, First Holy Communion and Confirmation, may they ask to live in the house of the Lord, and it will be true. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For vocations to the priesthood, to the diaconate and the religious life, so that we may savour the sweetness of the Lord in the sacraments. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the sick and the housebound, may they know that the Lord is compassion and love. The Lord, Lord in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who have died, May they now see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And this month of May, we continue to ask Mary, the mother of the church, to intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for our sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Almighty Father, we join in continuous prayer, together with the whole Church, and so we ask you to hear and answer our prayers, through Christ our Lord. Amen. If you'd like to do some activity to draw out the readings today, uh, you may want to draw something that uh, reminds us that we're still in May, the month of Mary. Something to do with Our Lady, the Rosary, her standing at the foot of the cross with John. Uh, today, we heard about Jesus' priestly prayer in the Gospel, perhaps an image of Jesus as a priest, the High Priest. Something to bring out that we're praying a novena to the Holy Spirit, the representations of the Holy Spirit as flame, wind, the dove. And of course, if you want to post those onto our parish Facebook page under this video, please do so, but always ask um, uh, permission of your parents and carers to use their technology. And now let us pray together day three of our Novena to the Holy Spirit. Uh, we'll slightly adapt the one that's on the uh, Facebook page for children. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. The God who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his holy consolations. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Break me, melt me, mould me, fill me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. And we'll sing our hymn to Our Lady. We know it right now as I kneel before you. As I kneel before you, as I bow my head in prayer, take this day, make it yours, and fill me with your love. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedictus, all I have I give you, every dream and wish are yours, Mother of Christ, Mother of mine, present them 
So do join us uh, for Mass, uh, the central and most important prayer of the Church, at 10am here, live streamed on Facebook.